Good morning and welcome in for another video with myself Darren as class one HCV driver here in the UK. Ooh. It was a late finish last night. So I finished at half past nine last night. If you're wondering why, go check the previous video out. And it is now half past six in the morning. Unfortunately, we have days like this in the industry. Not all the time, but every so often you might have to have a nine hour rest. That's why I've got little bags underneath my eyes at the moment. And a nice strong cup of coffee to go with that as well. Today though should be a lot easier today. Um, I'm not booked in until about eight o'clock on my first drop and it's only a few miles down the road. So I probably could have started at half seven instead, had an extra hour in bed. Hey ho, get there nice and early before the umping. So as soon as the umping up, we can get tips straight away. But in the meantime, I could probably use the bed for an hour or so. Catch up on that sleep for a little bit. and kingpin both attached and all secured. Time to attach airlines. Try not getting a camera view. Legs up, brakes off, bridge plate on. Give it a quick final look around, make sure all the electrics are working. All the vehicle checks have been done already for the tire tread, etc. So I'm good to hit the road. First drop is over in St. Helens. It's five and a half miles away. It's only about a 20 minute drive. So it's not too bad. But I don't believe dumping though until either 8 or 9 o'clock, possibly 9 o'clock. So if that's the case, what I'm going to do is sit my backside right outside the gate, wait for them to open up and get ready for accepting the deliveries. And then I'll just go get some sleep in the meantime, try and catch up a little bit. But I don't know actually, because I feel quite perky at the moment. I feel quite wide awake. I'm thinking if we have 20 minutes sleep or half hour, it might make me feel worse. Sometimes it does, doesn't it? So I'm sure play it by ear. Just start a car. Cheers, love road and traffic up. How would you store your car in a roundabout? <laughs> She's still there, bless her. <laughs> I shouldn't really have left. So we're just cutting through now the back routes down towards St. Ellen's area. Traffic's not too bad at the moment, which is good. Uh, due to get there at 5 to 8 as well. I don't know if I mentioned that already. If you've got any questions about HCV driving as well, guys, anything you're unsure of, let me know down in comments and I'll try my best to answer as many as I can. And also if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that like comment and subscribe as always the support is much much appreciated so thanking you very much for everybody that has supported the channel over the past six months i think it's been about six months that i've been doing the channel and do you know what i absolutely love the community we've got built at the moment so thank you very much for everybody tunes in wednesday already though Pump day. It's gone quick this week. I mean, I've only done two days really, so that's why it seems a bit quicker. But yeah, Wednesday already. It's good. Start working down now, can't we, towards that weekend. Uh, don't think I'm actually doing anything for this weekend. I think it's going to be a nice, relaxing one. I say nice and relaxing, I've got to paint the kitchen now. I've done the tiling last weekend, got it all sorted. So this week, just got to do all the painting, get around it, get it all spruced up a little bit. And then that's the kitchen nearly done then. 
so we'll start to uh, replace the units and the doors <laughs> etc in a few months time after this delivery as well we've got a collection over in Prescott and that's getting delivered to somewhere in Liverpool just near these lengths so that's not too bad but I believe that might be like a two o'clock booking for the delivery so I could be waiting around for a couple of hours later on but I'll stick it on POA so it doesn't affect my working time too much and then I might get a bit of a sleep later on Either way, I'm going to try and plan an hour of sleep a little bit later on. That's one of the perks about class one driving anyway. So when you're driving around, you get a little bit tired, pull over. Got a bed in the back. So all right. You got to take these little perks when you can, haven't you? About two and a half miles away from our location now. Nearly there. Bit of another wet one again today, doesn't it? At least the wind's not picking up too much like the other day with Devi. A little bit of POA. Just look at that view. And the waiting game starts, ladies and gentlemen. So, Steam Deck out. I'm gonna chill out for a little bit on my game, watch a bit of Netflix, wait for him to swamp him, get this popped off, and then off we go to somewhere else. It's a real shame though, there's no caffeine nearby. Nice sit down breakfast. Going on pretty nice right now. The time is now half past eight. Let's get the gloves on. The wind's picking up a little bit as well. So I'm only going from one side of the curtain for now and then close it and then do the other side. It just saves wind blowing trailer curtains everywhere. Ooh, it's cold. Really cold that like wind chill, isn't it? Bit of advertisement for Hornix, eh? Don't mind if I do, food to you. Nice little sausage butter to see me going. And of course, it's got to be drizzled in brown sauce. None of that red sauce on bacon or sausage. That's the first job done. I've got four pallets to collect from a business which is literally around the corner. It's less than half a mile away. And then I've got another one in St. Helens, which again, I don't think it's too far. I think it's on the way back towards our depot. Drop them off at our depot in Haydock. And then we're off to Prescott then for the collection. Because it doesn't have to be dropped off until two o'clock, I think the booking is. So instead of waiting around for three or four hours, might as well kill a little bit of time with one or two collections. Especially if it's just round the corner from where I am, it makes sense, doesn't it? Cheers, mate. That's not free just yet. Oh, that you're turning. What about if he indicated that? Like? Then we'll pull out him then. Let's trust another truck driver let you out though. <laughs> Cheers dude. Cheers mate. Nobody wanted to let me out then, did they? Uh, left of this roundabout and it's next left as well onto the estate. Hopefully they're ready. First time I've been to this business, not 
here before. I've been to the estate, but not this unit itself. So unit 12 we're looking for. See if they're answering instead. Nobody's answering. All done and loaded just in time before the rain comes. Let's go. So in there is where we need to go. She's careful with lamp posts and stuff on the left hand side. Trailer doesn't, headboard doesn't swing out. I was aiming for the corner of the building. Curb, so I say. Be pretty much hard jackknife. Start swinging it back to get the unit behind the, in front of the trailer. Get for that lamp post. Pretty much got it full right hand side lock at the moment. Let's bring the cab straight like so. Then we go straight back. Just have to take your time and it comes natural to you that after a while. Now well, that's done. Got another one round the corner. Leave you up there, right? So you can see. Literally around the corner. It's like this. Oh. Oh. Speak to him and let's scope out the yard, see what there is around here for us. And if we could turn it round. Might be able to do it, might be tight though. Second thoughts, so I don't think we'll be able to spin it around there. We've got a big barrier around the other side as well, so. Try to reverse that way, Matt. So this is the yard I'm at. And it's that corner there, which is gonna be a bit of a difficult one because you've got the van on the edge. And with this fence here, I might not be able to have the turn for the unit and the headboard to get around this corner. And over there, oh, you got that Merc as well, it's in the way. Mm. Definitely gonna be fun trying to do this, isn't it? I don't fancy doing that blind reverse with that there. A little bit risky. So I've been weighing it up. Blind reverse is probably the best option, unfortunately. I hate doing these blind reverse. What I'm gonna do, a bit of a POV camera, just so you can see what I can see inside the truck. So this is everything I can see in my truck. I can see the bottom mirror, top mirror, and I've got these two mirrors here as well, and I've got that front one. But main mirror I'm gonna be looking at is the top bit for first, and then I'm gonna to switch to the bottom bit when I get the hard angle that I can't really see out the mirror. So I need to keep the truck trailer first, going this way just so I can try and bend it round you see give it a whip and I'm going to have to get out and double check this lot anyway so on my side of the mirror you can see me going close as I can to towards the car and keeping it close to the fence keeping it really close to the fence you can see 
and then I need to heart right turn going past so I'll give you a view outside so at the moment I'm keeping as close as I can to here keeping the unit coming out and then it's going in this direction grease all over and where the hell is that from oh grease it's not sticking on there stick on that bit I'll wipe it off in a bit and then I need to keep the angle of the trailer what it is because I need to not do it too much but overshoot or end up cutting across and hitting these cars it's got to keep it straight and then down that road but yeah this is the view what I can see I don't need to go right down I need to keep it the unit to about here and then I can drive forward then that way clean my hands a little bit of grease I think I've touched that, that's why on the way past. Ah, I ate grease. Excuse the mess, guys. Go back, clean off, throw it in there for now. So I'm at a good angle at the moment, I'm happy with that. going slowly like seeing that bottom river there I'm at a good position and now I need to start turning left to try and get the unit straighten up with the trailer let's go get out because I might have turned a little bit too sharp Right, so that's getting quite close there so and he's come back straight up a little bit and then go out again oh, let's get out double check if you're unsure do a right turn So where am I here now? I need the unit to come over a little bit more, you see. So the trailer doesn't turn too much. That's a bit better that time. You can see on the bottom mirror now I'm clear. Hopefully you can see it, the camera moved a little bit then. You see it's bottom clear now. Straighten it up. Never be worried about taking an extra shunt if you need it. Always get out and double check, especially if you're doing a blind. Blind turn. And there we go. That's a... Uh, a really tight blind reverse done and completed safely. <laughs> I'm just going to pull over here now, anyway, so I can put my seatbelt on and that. Hopefully, the camera caught everything at a good angle for you. Like magic, we have arrived. Here at our place to collect 26 pallets and we're taking it straight to the clients which is probably like two three miles down the road so it's not too bad just off the east lanks at nosley park so now i've just got to try and snake the trailer around the unit which is on the bay just to the left try and whip it round. get a good angle where we need to be going Straight it up, do a bit of 
left turn. Not too much. It's been loaded. Once it's getting loaded, might as well have my egg sandwich that I treated myself to. Bit of free range egg, some Doritos, monster as well. It's my dinner set. I'm not quite sure what he's doing back there to load up, but every time he loads, especially the back view, <laughs> I feel like I'm on a pirate ship at the Blue Theme Park. Bloody hell. That's not me moving it with my arm, by the way. That's that's the back of the trailer <laughs> shaking left and right. Throw the rubbish in the bin. One hour left now until I can get accepted for this delivery. So I just need to come out of this yard, drive a quarter of a mile down the road and just hang fire around that region now. So then we're ready as soon as it's half one, we can get straight in and unloaded. So I've arrived here and as you can see, We've got a queue of trucks. Luckily, arrived here one hour early to let me in, but could be here for a couple of hours at this rate. Little bit of an update. Not managed to get sleep, unfortunately, because I'm in a queue. And I've been here since one o'clock. It is now half past three. There's still one more truck in front of me before I get onto the bay. Hopefully, it's not going to be a late one today because I've still got another collection to do. Bay. Keys handed in. Everything's sorted. It's got a waiting game now again. Finally, five o'clock. Leaving. Let's get back to the yard and go home. And that right there, folks, is what we call a wrap. So thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna call it a day on the video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's now six o'clock, so got back at a good time. Should be back home for about half past six, give or take. Just need to drop this bad boy and then I'm out of here. So take care of yourself and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.